Good morning, Bravehearts, and good morning, Garfield, New Jersey. Welcome back to Marv in the morning. <laughs> How's everybody doing out there? Welcome back. Welcome back. This is episode 18. Uh, episode 18. Marv in the morning. Like Rakim. The 18th letter. Hope everybody's doing all right out there. Looks like a beautiful day outside. Uh, I'm feeling good. Got my coffee. Got my cup of joe. I'm ready to drop some gems. Got Jeps in the chat. How you doing over there, brother? How you doing over there? Today's topic is stop overthinking it. Start your podcast already, please. <laughs> we here. The go. What's up? What's up, B? How you doing, brother? How's everybody doing out there? Listen, the uh, the timestamps will be in the description below. This is a... Uh, uh, Take a dose of verbal caffeine from this episode because I just want you to start already. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you, Mr. I. Oh, I, I, I want to start, but, uh, you know, I got to do this, this, and that. Stop it. Stop it. I'm going to tell you, like, like my, I'm going to tell you, like, MJ told me, stop it. <laughs> yeah, man. 18th episode, last week of the month. And uh, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. September September has been Mondo Righteous to me. Mondo Righteous. I've been feeling feeling good this whole month. It's been a month of litness. That's for sure. That is for sure. And a lot of new things. Uh, yeah, a lot of new things happen in this month. And I'm, eh, you know, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. Looking back at it, when the Green Day song plays, I'm gonna look back on this month like, yeah, yeah, you know, I, yeah, we did good. We did good this month. We did good. That's for sure. That's for sure. But uh, for those that are watching post live, timestamps will be below in the description so you can skip ahead to the meat and potatoes of the episode. For everybody that's new, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And make sure you, you, uh, you, know, give, you know, say your piece in the chat. Let me know what you're thinking out there. You know, dispute the facts. Okay, but if you're looking to start a podcast, which I hope you are. That's the name of the episode if you're watching this. If you're looking to start a podcast, come to Bravery Studios, man. We'll make it happen for you. We make it all as easy as possible. We do all of the thumbnails, all of the editing, all of the uploading, all the production, recording, video, audio, all that jazz is done here in Bravery Studios. We make it as easy. We make it easy for you, baby. We make it so easy for you to come and start your podcast. You know, take the weight off your shoulders. Let us do the busy work, the, the monotonousness <laughs> of having a podcast. Let us do all that for you. Let us be your workforce. We work for you. Come to Bravery Studios. Let us help you make your podcast. Uh, join a community of over, over 20 podcasts that record here weekly with monthly events, with, uh, with a lot of good times and good memories. Get your picture on our wall, right? We got a uh, big daddy Alucard in here in the chat. How you doing? How you doing, Alucard? What's new in your life, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, so we also have the Discord link below. You know, you can jump in that Discord. Throw some podcast links in there. Let me listen to them. I'll uh, tell you what I think. Tell you the good news and the bad news. <laughs> I'll give you the good news and the bad news, and uh, I'll tell you what I think about your podcast here live on uh, Marvin in the morning. Uh, I could have been anywhere with a hurricane, but I chose to be here. Rah. Yeah, man. Um, my uh, my my thoughts are with uh, my home country, Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico and the Caribbean entirely with the uh, hurricanes coming through. I have family over there right now that that, uh, they, you know, we, we they're safe at the moment. You know, they're, they're doing all right. But, uh, you know, for anybody that's going through it right now, my heart, my thoughts and my prayers are with you. For sure, man. For sure. Uh, yeah, man. Hurricanes are hurricanes are some wild jazz. Hurricanes are some wild jazz. That's for sure. That is a hundred percent for sure. But yeah, man. Start a podcast. Do your thing. Do your thing. Uh, we got the ladies of bravery event coming October twenty second. Listen, this is gonna be a lit night. The ladies are gonna be doing their thing here in Bravery Studios. We got three podcasts lined up. Uh, to do live shows here with a live audience. Uh, the event bright link will be out soon. Got a bucket down and get on that today, actually. And uh, you can purchase. If you are subscribed to the Bravery Studios YouTube channel, you will receive $5 off the ticket price. 
and whatnot. So, yeah, man. Come to Bravery on that night, October 22nd. We're doing this in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness. Uh, the ladies are going to be doing their thing. Three great podcasts. You have the Spiritual Tip Podcast, the No Filter Podcast, and the Illa's Girls Next Door Podcast. So, it's going to be it's gonna be a good night. So, this, is, this one's for the ladies. This one's for the ladies, all right? So, uh, let's have a great time and a great night. That's for sure. Great time, great night. Good vibes. Good vibes all around, baby. That's all we're about here in Bravery Studios. Uh, we are seeking vendors for the event, too. So, uh, you know, you do some vending. You want to you come by and do some vending? Uh, let me know. Let's make it happen. Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the vendors are the coolest part of events. People get to showcase what they do. You know, sell their art, their, their food, their magic that they make. Uh, you got to love the vendors. You got to love them. You got to love them. You got to love them. But moving forward, uh, yo, the Valor Room, baby. This uh, yesterday was really fun because I got to finally start putting together some furniture for the Valor val- <laughs> for the Valor Room. I got to start putting together some furniture for the val- Valor Room, and uh, you know it was fun building in there. I-, I I sat in there for like an hour just looking around, just in- feeling the nice new couch we got in there, nice red leather couch that that we just put in there. So that was really fun, just soaking it in. It's nice to see a dream come and manifest in the physical world. That room's been a long time coming. So Valor Room's coming soon. And um, I think at that point, we're going to close down the Courage Room for a little bit, uh, for like a month maybe, because I want to renovate that room as well, redesign it, get it looking nice and, and sexy too. But uh, yeah, man, the uh, do I have pictures? I should have taken some pictures to display on the episode today, but... Um, yeah, Valor Room's coming soon. Neon lights everywhere. The couch, lounge setup, more modern looking uh, space. So I'm a vintage guy. I like everything vintage. Like if you guys notice what my style would be, I'm definitely about the uh, like vintage Americana art. You know what I mean? Like World War II, Harley Davidson, uh, you know, Converse, Levi jeans. I like me some old school vintage looking, uh, uh, you know, motifs, I guess is the word. But uh, with this one, we're going for a more modern look, going against the green here for me because I definitely dig the, the, the vintage. But, you know, we got to have different looks over here in Bravery Studios. We got to we gotta fit to the style of every single podcast that walks in here, right? So, yeah, that's, the, that's coming soon. Valorum, I, I'm, I'm predicting... Middle of October, it'll be ready to go. Middle of October. We still got to redo the flooring. Uh, still have a couple pieces of furniture flying in from wherever f- furniture flies in from. <laughs> from wherever it comes from. So, uh, yeah, man, stay tuned for that. It's, 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 it's coming along. That's for sure. It's definitely coming along. Definitely coming along. So, stay tuned for that. And as a matter of fact, today I probably will be... I probably will be laying some wallpaper on the wall. Yeah, I got some wallpaper coming up today. So that's that. That is that what's happening in the battle room. And I, I can't wait to start recording. I, I might myself record a pod in there first and just to break it in. Like, uh, you know what I mean? It's, I just I love the look of the room. It's not even done. And I'm sitting there in all in all of it manifesting into the physical. I'm just like in all of it, man, for real. But yeah, Valor Room coming soon. Valor Room coming soon. All right, guys. So let's, let's let's jump into the meat and potatoes of the episode, guys. How about that? How about that? Let's jump into the meat and potatoes of the episode, which is stop overthinking it and start your podcast now. Um, Listen, I, I go out a lot. Everywhere I go, everyone I speak to, once they ask me what I do for a living, and I tell them I'm a podcast producer. I operate, I own and operate a podcasting studio. The minute I tell someone that, 90% of the time, they're like, oh, I wanted to start a podcast. Oh, I want to start a podcast. And I usually ask them, like, I usually respond with, oh, yeah, what's what's stopping you? And um, it's usually always the same story. You know, I'm just trying to get everything together, trying to find the time, trying to make the time, trying to, um, you know, nail down some co-host or 
or a put get a, get a nice intro, get a nice logo, all that jazz. It's always the same same story. And what I really want to get across to people with this episode is that you really do have to stop overthinking it. Keep it simple. My iPad just locked on me. Keep it simple. And just start it. Just start it. I watch another YouTuber. Jeez, I wish I could remember his name so I can give him credit for this quote. But I was watching his his uh, his YouTube and he was giving advice about starting a podcast. And he says, you have to be a disaster before you're a master. You have to be a disaster before you're a master. What does that mean? Let's get into it. Let's get into it, right? Okay. Um, the, f- the first thing I'm going to tell you is perfectionism is a flaw. Perfectionism is is a character flaw. I immediately throw up red fl- see red flags when someone tells me I'm a perfectionist. Um, I think that that's cool. That's cool to, to feel like, hey, I got to make this perfect. I have to do the absolute best to make this the absolute most perfect thing ever. I, I, I dig that. I dig anyone who thinks like that. That's cool. That's cool. But I also... I feel bad in a way because that just makes it means it takes you forever to do something. And the analogy I use is, uh, if you are carving a, a statue out of a brick of ice, let's say the brick of ice as big as me, six feet. And, uh, well, I'm not six feet, but, <laughs> but let's say there's a six foot block of ice and you're carving out, you know, a sculpture of Madonna in it. You know what I mean? Um, that's awesome. And you're just going to make it perfect, perfect, perfect. But listen, man, if it takes you 10 years to do it, I think after 10 years, people are going to stop caring. And that block of ice is going to melt before you even get to uh, <laughs> before you even get to it looking like Madonna. Um, if it takes you forever to do something amazing, then it's not that impressive. Um, you give me 10 years to do something. And uh you know, after a while, it just doesn't matter anymore. Like the the goal you set for yourself was so far in the future that the people that were anticipating it no longer care, right? Uh, it's like when you release music. Music is so of its time. Or every piece of music is always stuck in the time period where it released, at least for the most part, right? So if you're working on a great album in 2004... And it doesn't come out to 2014, then uh, is it even going to sound relevant at that time when it releases finally? You can't take forever to do something. You can't take forever. I know you want perfectionism. I know you want everything to be perfect before you start your podcast. But the truth of the matter is you have to be a disaster before you're a master. No one is going to hop into this realm and hit a home run automatically off jump street. You are not going to hit a home run off jump street. You got to come in, get it started. Get it started. Go through the trials and errors of it. You know, like, okay, this didn't work last week. Let's try something new this week. So while you're sitting there at home, not going through the growing pains of starting something, someone else is. Someone else is out there probably with the same idea you had and getting started and doing it. And they're going through the growing pains. And after maybe six months, maybe after a year, okay, they found what works and they are doing it. Well, you could have started. You could have gone through the growing pains early. You could have just done it. And now you're late to the party because you wanted it to be perfect from Jump Street. You wanted to hit a home run off the first episode. Don't wait. Don't do that. Don't do that. Listen. While you wait, other podcasts are succeeding. While you're sitting there waiting, other podcasts are succeeding. Other podcasts that are probably similar to what you had in mind. Uh, Instead of being the first one with this idea, now you're second, third, fourth, fifth. Now you're late to the party, right? Embrace mistakes. Embrace them and look back at them and and cherish those mistakes. Because you won't be able to make them once you're big. Uh, you won't be able to get away with things when you're new and you have a mistake. You know, an audience will understand and say, well, they just got started. You know what I mean? 
They're still finding their footing. You can't get away with that after after uh, a year or two years of doing this. Uh, maybe not even after six months. So embrace the mistakes and look back and laugh at them. Embrace it. Say, wow, I totally didn't realize that our levels were so off. My co-host sounds all the way up here and I sound all the way down here, right? It's not going to be acceptable after a couple months of doing it already. But go through the growing pains. I mean, I remember so many mistakes that were made when we first opened the studio when uh me and Juan, Juan the Duke, were just getting started doing this. Uh, there was a lot of errors with our own podcast, with our own whatever we're doing. Even now, I still sometimes make them, you know, I'm not without mistake. I'm human, you know, but you want to get good at something. You have to do it every day. You have to work at it every day. Uh, these guys that are killing it in basketball and sports and whatever the jazz, they're doing it every day. And they went through the trials and errors of it. They went through the growing pains of whatever skill they were trying to master. You know, so embrace the mistakes. Look back at them. Laugh, smile, enjoy the ride, right? You're there. What you're ultimately doing as you're making mistakes is you're sharpening your sword. All this time, all these mistakes you're learning from. Every L is a lesson, right? As you're there sharpening your blade, sharpening your sword for the skill you're trying to learn. And podcasting takes, it takes learning. It takes getting accustomed to. You have a team of co-hosts. You got to get used to moderating. You got to get used to not speaking over each other. You have to get used to letting everyone get their thoughts across. It takes a lot. It takes a lot. It's a lot of trial and error. Um, but getting started makes you makes it. Uh, it's, it means you're on the route towards getting better. You know, no one no one is perfect. Even people who have been podcasting for years are still getting better and. There will never be a perfect. There will never be perfect. You, you just have to have to keep doing it long enough to get better at the things you're already good at. Which is the next thing I'm going to say is uh, you have to focus on your positives. Focus on your strengths. Focus on what you're good at. What you're not good at, maybe you want to take out of the equation, right? Um, so I had a podcast years ago called Bravery Up. Uh, it was more interview based. It was entirely interview based, actually. And it was more about just selecting, highlighting the lives of interesting people who have come to Bravery Studios. Right. And um, let me tell you, uh, I selected the wrong guests sometimes. And it's not that they were bad people that I brought on. It's just that I wasn't well versed in the realm they were in. I brought in a judge and uh, was speaking to them about law and about politics and all that jazz. And let me tell you, I'm not, I'm not, that's not my strength. That's not where I, I, you know, feel confident discussing, uh, these things. I don't feel confident in talking about politics or, or, or law or any of those things. I'm not, I don't have a lot of, a lot of that in my body. Right. So I had a bad time. I gave a bad interview and, uh, that's when I decided I, I need to focus on my strengths and, um, I need to do something where I'm highlighting what I'm good at. And that's what I'm doing now in front of you. I'm good at I'm good at production. So what am I speaking to you about? Production, the production, the presentation of a podcast. You know, even marketing. I don't I don't really get into marketing that much because marketing is not where uh, I feel the strongest. I am the strongest at production, but I will take you to the people who are great at marketing. You know, I will. That's my strength. I can connect you with the people who can provide marketing for you. That's where my strengths lie. But absolutely, positively, focus on the positives. Focus on what you're good at. You know, focus on what you're good at with your podcast. If you're not good at, you know, the technica the technical side of it, you know, pulling up videos, cueing in music, um, you know, hitting sound effects, maybe you want to avoid those things. Or find someone to join you who is good at those things. You know, find a teammate. Find a teammate that can be your strengths to your weaknesses. You know, his strengths are your weaknesses, his or her. Just find someone who's good at what you're not. <laughs> Pretty much what I'm saying. But focus on your strengths. Focus on the positives of, of just enjoying the journey, too. That's that's the main point of it. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the growth. 
if you went into this and you were already perfect off Jump Street, you don't have anything to look back at. Like, wow, I grew from that. I learned from that. I got better from that. That you don't have that experience. You're not going to have it. You're just not going to have it. It's good to look back. I mean, I watch I watch Joe Rogan's first episode a lot. Not because I go and search for it, but when I watch the most recent episode from Joe Rogan, and let's say that episode finishes, I think Spotify takes you all the way back to the bottom and starts you from uh, episode one. And when you see episode one of Joe Rogan, <laughs> you, you can definitely say to yourself, wow, okay. He's come a long, mondo long way, right? He's come a mondo long way, baby. Mondo long way. There was like snowflakes on the screen, like uh, some little graphics he had, animation. His face is huge on the screen. It, it probably takes up the entirety of the screen over there. And uh, he's with someone else. The mi- The audio sounds horrible. The video looks horrible. But look at Joe Rogan, baby. He's been doing it 10 years now. Top of the game. Top of the totem pole right now is uh Mr. Joe Rogan over here. So yeah, you have to uh you have to go be a disaster before you're a master. <laughs> enjoy the journey, enjoy the mistakes, enjoy the humbleness of it. Uh I, I remember when it was just here, we were just here recording podcasts. Now I'm running a whole business. I miss those days, man, when it was just for fun. I miss those days. Not that I would trade what I have now. I would not give any of this up. I enjoy this too. But the youth mindedness of us, of all of us, the youthful mind of all of us, just doing this for fun and having a good time before it became all business. Those are my favorite days. 2016. 2016 was the best year of my life. And let me tell you, we made so many mistakes uh, doing this in that year. We made so many mistakes doing this. So many mistakes. That, uh, uh, but you had to love it. That's how we grew from. That's how we learned. That's how we learned everything. It was great. I'll never take that back. Take any of it back. So enjoy the journey. Enjoy the mistakes. Enjoy the people who may not be there in the future, right? You might have started with a big group of people. I mean, the big, the community here when we started, you know, the darkened hour, the Rope Point podcast, the Over the Top Rope podcast, uh, the OG podcast. Those are all the OG podcasts, right? Not many of them are still left. Not many of them are still around, the people I started with. And uh, I cherish those moments that I spent with them. But imagine I never got started. Imagine I wanted everything to be perfect and I never jumped into the, you know, put my foot in the ring, you know, jumped in the water. Imagine I stayed one foot on the platform, one foot on the train, Like uh, the house of the rising sun lyrics goes. Imagine that. Imagine I would have missed out on all those things. Uh, It's better to try than to not try at all. You know, that's that's very important. Just get started. Just do your thing. Make magic. And embrace embrace the flaws. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy it all. Soak it in. You're not going to be allowed to make as many mistakes in the future when things get bigger. When your platform elevates and people know your name, when you're considered a professional, you're not allowed to make mistakes anymore. Enjoy that first year of of uh, trial and error, right? Enjoy that first year. Now you you have a podcast. Let's say you start. Let's say what you're doing is not coming out the way you imagined it to go. Don't worry about starting over either. As a matter of fact, I think most people who have done this have started one time, at least one time by themselves, and then stopped, got into pod fade, and uh, tried again. And the second time around, it came out better. Um, Once again, to to speak on my own story, uh, we had what we considered it a radio station at the time. Uh, in this place called the Art Factory in Patterson. And it was four of us. And one by one, each person started dropping out. And that time, the, uh, then I gave up towards the end. I was the last one. But I just started over. I just started over. I didn't let 
the thought of starting over bother me. Because, uh, listen, at first you don't succeed. Just dust yourself off and try again. So, uh, you know, shout out to Aaliyah. Dust yourself off and try again. Don't give up, man. Don't give up and don't, don't, do not fear failure. Do not fear failure. Failure is good. Failure is really good. You learn from failure. You attach an emotional memory to failure. And that emotional memory might sting. But that sting is the is what keeps you from making that mistake again. I'm becoming a motivational speaker over here. <laughs> right? Not intentionally. Not intentionally. But yeah, that sting is for what keeps you from making that mistake again. Right? Uh, your girl breaks your heart in high school. You're 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 heartbroken. Or a guy breaks your heart. Sometimes I speak too much to the male audience. I need to embrace the uh, the ladies as well. So let's say a guy broke your heart. You learned from that heartbreak. It made you stronger. It made you better. Uh, nothing teaches you more than failure. I think failure is really the only way you can learn, honestly. Uh, no, maybe not. But uh, failure is good. You only need to get it right once. I think that's what Jay-Z said. You only have to be right one time. That's it. One time to change your life. Just once. Don't fear the second time around. Don't fear failure. And I think that's the whole kit in Kaboodle. Uh, this is a much more mellow, chill episode. Uh, you know, I just wanted to speak on more of a motivate motivational sort of episode instead of just a, you know, technical how to episode. This is a more motivational uh, spiel. There's not a, like facts or 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 datas or any research that must go into this type of topic. It's just about it's about getting you started, getting you off your tushy and getting you started. You know what I mean? Because that's ultimately the only way you are going to get good at podcasting is to start. The only way you're going to get to any we're close to perfection, which honestly, I don't believe anyone will ever get that close enough. It's just to get started, get started. Just do it. I think Nike has the best catchphrase. Just do it. Catchy is all jazz. I wish I could, uh, wish I could steal that. <laughs> wish that I had thought of it. Bravery studios. Just do it. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could come up with that. But just do it, man. Shia LaBeouf and all that jazz, right? But thank you for kicking with me today, Bravehearts. Really short, really mellow episode. Um, on the motivational tip today. And feeling inspired myself today. I'm, I'm in a... I am in a space of euphoric... Abundancy. Don't mind me as I pause to think of words. I, uh... I often look back at these episodes and I kind of hate the way I deliver sometimes as far as spoken word. A lot of pauses, a lot of ums. Ah, mm. But even with this, uh, even, look, I'm doing it right now. Even with this, I'm getting better every day. I look back at the first episode of Marv in the morning and I see the lighting and I'm like, oh, that stings watching it like that. Uh, you know. But you get better every day. You want to get good at something, do it every day. Don't have time every day, doing as much as you can make time for. But just do it. Even if it's once a week, just make time, do it. Start your podcast. Stop overthinking it. You, you may not have a logo. Cool. Start without a logo. Take a picture of your face. <laughs> Start without a logo. You may not have music. Cool. Start without music. Open with a round of applause. Uh, you may not have a co-host. Cool. Start by yourself. Do it live. Talk to the audience. But just for the love of everything sexy on this planet, just start it already. Just do your thing. Do your thing. 
someone else will. Someone else will be out there getting better than you if you don't. Thank you for watching Marvin in the Morning. Great episode. Uh, great, great episode. Mellow, chill vibes today. In a euphoric place. I like how far we have gotten. I love how far we have come already. Episode 18. It's in the books. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, of course. So what's Thursday? Ask me anything Thursday. Keep in mind, we're no longer going live on Fridays. Fridays, I'm going to use that time to edit the interviews that we're doing on Saturdays. The uh, live from Bravery Studios. So look forward to that. Hurrah. Hurrah indeed. Hurrah indeed. I'll be live tonight on Twitch. I'm playing the, the uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. If you guys are gamers, you can come by and watch. Twitch.tv forward slash Bravery Arcade. That's a game from my childhood that, uh, you know, inspired me a lot too, right? And that's a game of trial and error too, man. I remember getting stuck all the time in that game. Now the game is baby food for me. But that game uh, uh, took me years to beat that game. But I beat it. And that just goes to show. Just do it. Just beat the game. <laughs> All right, brave hearts. It's been real. It's been good. I'll see you tomorrow. Ask more of anything Thursdays. Stay brave. Seize the day and fight for the future. Peace.